campfire honeydew is the perfect example of baz done right. It is rich, thick and has a nice kick to it. It doesn't sound slow, muddy or boomy. It is elevated for sure. But campfire knows restraint. The low end is enjoyable, but it doesn't strangle the mid-range like other typical Bazhead IEMs. The mids are the most impressive aspect of the honeydew package. Despite the powerful low end, the mid-range remains eloquent and detailed. The sparkle at the top makes vocals more enjoyable and alive. The texture and resolution are surprisingly good for a bass head IEM. And the three-dimensional sound stage is cherry on top. The table is smooth and well-rounded. It has a certain polish to it. While it doesn't lack in detail, it isn't the most dominant frequency of the honeydew. So if you consider yourself a treble head, this might not be your cup of tea. It's easy to label the Campfire Honeydew as a Bazhead IEM if you take a look at its frequency graph. But listening to it is a novel experience. While it certainly plays pop and electronic music masterfully, I was more impressed with how it handled cool jazz, dream pop and vocal centric music. While it's certainly not the most natural or detailed IEM in the segment. The musicality of the honeydew makes it a special contender in the segment. The warmth and sweetness of its signature made the sound more musical and the laid back treble made the longer sessions more enjoyable and non-fatiguing. Campfire honeydew was not the most balanced IEM out there, but it certainly is the most balanced Bazhead IEM in the segment, and it certainly gets my recommendation for that.